Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Prisma Ilia Commentaries. We are on uh, episode four, Theme Park Panic. Hey, you know what I love? Theme parks and theme park based episodes. So I'm pretty excited to see how this goes. Um, last episode was a lot. And the next episode looks to be another trope. I mean, so far we've had a lot of tropes. We've had the, uh, you know, the, the beach episode trope. We're going to have the festival trope. We're going through the theme park trope. That's fine. Tropes are not inherently bad. In fact, they are a safety net of warmth and comfort. So without further ado, let's get started on this episode in three, two, one, play. Hey, we're back at the construction site. Plot, plot, plot is starting. Oh my god, she's got a little cap. She's got a little met cap. That's amazing. Oh my god, they all have it. I okay, oh it's not no no it's it's a bandana. Okay, it's not a it's not a a uh, <laughs> yellow metul hard hat. Also it is not legal for any of you to be doing this. Oh, it's like Oh, I was going to say Super Mario 64 Parallel Universes, but no, got to get that Schrodinger's cat reference in there. It's been a while since we've heard from old Schrodinger. It's been a hot minute. Yeah, what are you doing? Yeah, that's that's nothing for her. You should see how she uses it in uh, Grand Order. She just chucks so many gems. It's true. As kids, your job is not construction. Gaku Gaku Animal Land. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, that's a new new Fuyuki location. We have not seen, you know, um a theme park in Fuyuki. Maybe it's like a, a roaming one, or maybe it's seasonal. That could be what it is. We have seasonal amusement parks near us. There's one pretty famous one called uh, Callaway Park, which when I was a kid I got to go visit and I saw they had a booth up there. Um, set up previewing the Game Boy Advance like before it came out and it was like the craziest thing to see as a kid because I was so used to the regular Game Boy so seeing the Game Boy Advance I was like wow this is the most incredible graphics ever it was F-Zero they had on it and I was like whoa so cool that park was so amazing as a kid and then I went back you know after I was an adult and it was so much worse and it when I was a kid, it was Flintstones themed. Um, they got rid of that, which is a shame because it had a it had a good identity and almost Disneyland like theming. And then when they removed it, it was like so bland. It was like a, a themeless pop up park. It sucked, man. But hey, I have uh, one of the biggest indoor amusement parks uh, near me. Shame that. You know, it was only during COVID when I discovered that I like roller coasters. <laughs> they got a child leash for her. Fearsome Animal Land. I like the um, the the fate lion there. Okay, built very recently. Sounds good. I'm almost sure Luvia's family owns it. <laughs> yeah, fair. Yeah. Lion buddy. Uh, 
Oh my god, that's gonna be Bazit in there. That's Bazit. I saw that aura. She couldn't go to Alton Towers? I forgot there should probably be a responsible adult here. That's, like, actually fair. No, you don't. You don't want... I don't know. Only one of them are a servant in Grand Order, so. Yeah, I'd be worried too. This version of Ilya's mom, this version of Iris Feel is scary. For many reasons. See, you know, I don't think she's tall enough. <laughs> Yep. Her ahoge. Her ahoge uh, is enough to get over. That's amazing. I rode the Incredicoaster like 12 times when I discovered that I enjoy roller coasters. Oh, is Mew going to be freaking terrified? Nope. Okay, good. I was like, is she, is, is nothing going to break through her facade? No, she's terrified. Oh, I'm, I'm getting a bit of like, I'm having fun with them. No, not the sandal. I, I do like how Mew internally screams. That's good. Oh, and of course she loves to drive. Okay, pirate ship is one I probably wouldn't go on. That's one that freaks me out still. Roller coasters I could do, but pirate ships I'd have a tough time with. <laughs> She's still shooketh. Oh, she absolutely came along because she wanted to be here. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, that's pretty normal for, you know... You're just opening up right now, huh? Yeah. <laughs> 108, huh? That's uh that's an important number in I think I think Buddhism. Something about 108 souls or something. Oh my god, it's Lion Saber. Yo, shoutouts to a cameo from Lion Saber. Mascot of uh, Tiger Coliseum. I gotta play those still. I gotta play that still. I was wondering with all the lions if we'd see the King of Lions, but there we are. That's a hundred and fifty percent Bazit.
ironically, it's the adult who got lost. Oh my god, are they going to have to go to the Lost Child Center for their mo That's kind of funny. Hey, Karen. Oh, so, so you went to the place where they're screaming. That's a lot of honey. That's a lot of honey. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. Wow. Yeah, why did you get a cell phone? Huh? What? You're loving this, though. This is just going... Why are you like this? <laughs> Even the kids there are just, like, shooketh. Oh my god. This went from fairly straightforward to going... places. The the fact that she's allowed in here to just watch crying children is the weirdest thing, but I'm happy we're getting more Karen content. Oh my god, are you, are you gonna smile at this? Oh, yeah. Hmm, I wonder who that is. <laughs> hmm. They know each other. That makes sense. Kind of. <laughs> what was that wrestling move? I was going to say, I thought, I thought, you know, the smart one of the group would pick up on it, but. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, haunted house attraction. <laughs> you know what? I'm en I'm enjoying this one actually a bit more than the last one, cause it's actual good wholesome fun, with the with the little bit of the wacky fate stuff thrown in. I like it. There sure are a lot of conspicuously CG lions. <laughs> hmm. 
Oh no. That's like legitimately really sad. Yeah, read the room, Tatsuko. You remember the whole thing about, hey, let's have all the girls, you know, be together? Nope. Hi, I forgot you're in this. <laughs> yeah, just just taking it in stride, huh? Just don't worry about anyone seeing it. They'll think it's part of the theme park. To be fair, some of those theme park, like, um, some of the animatronics I saw at Disney, like, blew my mind where it'd be like, yeah, that makes sense. Hmm. That's interesting that she seemingly knows and stuff. Man, also, can I just say... Okay. Um, theme parks, closing time at night, there's nothing as melancholic besides a water park at night. That's a time that gets me, gets me really feeling, you know, the sad feels... That's a that's that's a pretty deep thing to say to like an eight year old. Yeah, those things are a pain in the butt to get off. Just jumps right into the drink, huh? Aw. Aw. All right. I just got hit with the biggest memory. I, at that Callaway Park, which I mentioned, I lost my hat on a, on a ride. And I cried about it because I love the hat. And literally, my dad went to search for it in a situation very similar to this, and he found it, and I was so happy. And I just, it just brought back that memory. I want a cut of Kiritsugu getting the pictures and just going, huh, delete, 
delete, delete. <laughs> Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. This is interesting. Hmm. There's a little bit of backstory there that that we're not seeing. That's really interesting. Like the the Bazit and Karen connection I can see a little bit of. Like I I can see where there might be with them, you know, being one a member of the church, one a member of um, the, uh, the clock tower there, I can see where there might be some, some of them knowing each other, the know your enemy sort of thing. Right. Um, but like, there's like no connection between Karen and Irisville from before, because of course, Irisville, you know, dies before, um, before fate and Karen is, you know, only introduced in a hollow water axia, which is even later. So that's really interesting. My only thought is that, you know, in this universe, my only thought is that because you have, you know, Kiritsugu going through the war and drawing out, oh, but then he wouldn't have met, he wouldn't have met Kirei. If he didn't participate in the war, he wouldn't have, right? Oh, may maybe they just recognize each other as, uh, you know, church member and mage slash homunculus. That's the only thing I can get for how that connects there. That's hmm, interesting for sure. We'll see. Oh, it's going to be, oh, well, we might learn right here. I was right. Because their kid's going to an amusement park. That's literally it. Wow, even Karen had to pause for that one. Okay, well, this just put a big wrinkle in my theory about their relationship. Oh, it's the... It's the festival episode. My dream is to go to one of these. Edelfelt schemes come in pairs. I like that. That has some deep meaning. That has some deep meaning. All right, everyone. Thank you all for watching. And we will see you next time uh, for some more Fate, uh, Kelly Adliner, Prisma, Ilya, Tuzvai Hairs. We'll see you then for that. Ciao. Well, after Garden of Sinners, of course. We're going back to that. <laughs> Mood whiplash.